Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and so I stumbled across this post on Reddit. Um, I feel very validated by this post because ever since, like, this connector showed up on an, a GPU, I've been like, what a stupid connector. And then when NVIDIA announced that this connector is supposed to handle up to 600 watts, I was like, whoa, it, it gets stupider. Because not only does this connector solve just the most NVIDIA problem ever, as in... Like, why do we need this to replace four 8-pin power connectors? Well, that's really simple. Four 8-pin power connectors take up a lot of space on the PCB. And, uh, apparently 4090s don't have enough space on the PCB for four 8-pin power connectors. So that's that's why this exists, is to, to solve the issue of the 8-pin power connector taking up too much space on the PCB. What a non-issue. <laughs> Especially since they don't even, like, ship the cards with a 600-watt power limit. They ship them with a 450-watt power limit. So it's not even like you needed four 8-pins. You just needed three. But anyway, so that's that's why this connector exists. Is because NVIDIA finds it very inconvenient to find enough space on their Founders Edition PCBs to put uh, three 8-pin power connectors on there. Um, so... Yeah, but I still think this connector is stupid, because the thing is, three 8-pin power connectors have nine 12-volt pins in them, whereas this has six 12-volt pins in it. And yet, this is rated for more power than three separate 8-pins. Like, the, the math doesn't really add up on that. And that's mainly because 8-pin power connectors have just an insane safety margin on them, but, like... That's a good thing, right? Like, as far as I'm concerned, that's a good thing. It, it's nice that you have a connector that is just mega overkill. Um, and, and the only thing it costs is a bit more PCB space. Um, but anyway, so NVIDIA came up with a solution to the problem of the 8-pin power connector being uh, too large for the Founders Edition uh, PCB. That also, conveniently enough, is worse. Because, um, uh, yeah, this, this connector is not very physically robust. And uh, is just like you know extra complexity for worse reliability. Name name a more Nvidia design thing ever. Um, so anyway, I feel very validated by this, but we will get to some actually useful information here because uh, the person who uh, this happened to, um, which is very like very unfortunate for them, uh, is. Well, they posted a picture of their system, and it looked like this. And at a glance, I don't really see anything wrong with this. I, you know, like, when when I saw this post, I was like, oh, they probably have the connector, like, smashed up against the side panel or something. But it's like, no, this, this GPU is installed horizontally. There's, like, plenty of room for the cables to, to bend. Um, and apparently this right here is actually very, very bad for the connector. Um, because a, another Reddit user posted, uh, called BlackSand99 down here, uh, posted a link to the Cable Mod 12 volt high power connector guide. Um, and what Cable Mod has to say about this connector is terrifying. The 12 volt high power connector and the terminals used in it are much smaller than the previous generation. Through our extensive testing, it appears that bending the wires too close to the connector could result in some of the terminals coming loose or misaligning with the connector itself. This may lead to an uneven load across the other wires, increasing... It, it's not really the load across the wires, it's more the load across the actual connections that's a problem, because, like... The wires are fine. It's the connections that are, like, you know, it's the terminals. That's that's what's left inside this burnt-up connector. Like, that metal bit, that's the actual terminal. Um, yeah, those are burning up. The wires are okay. So, the load being imbalanced across the wires is kind of like, it's not really the issue here, is it? Um, but anyway, uh, which may lead to uneven load across the other wires, increasing the risk of overheating damage. The risk of this is substantially higher if the bend is done horizontally in relation to the cor connector orientation. Um, so this is super bad, which, uh, yeah, is actually exactly what we see in this installation, so I guess we can't be too surprised that this ended up burning up. Um, so, um, yeah. So if you have a 4090 or a 3090 Ti, or really any GPU using this stupid connector, and your cable does this... 
you should probably do something about that because this is really bad. Um, and ideally, you'd want to start any bending at 35 millimeters away from the connector, which I am not sure how you're supposed to physically achieve that without some kind of like rigid support structure that is mounted to the GPU. Because the thing is, if you like, you know, let's say you came up with the clever idea of, oh, I'm just going to like encase the ca like 35 millimeters of cable away from the connector. Yet yeah, that won't work because the problem again is not the, the cape, like, or at least I don't think, I guess it depends how loose the terminals are in the actual plastic housing. Um, oh yeah, actually the, I guess the cables would actually just wobble the terminals around themselves. Even if like the plastic, like even if the plastic housing is locked into place, because the terminals aren't like, like the terminals aren't like welded to the plastic or anything, which I, I know you don't weld metal to plastic, but I can't think of a better word. Like they're not firmly bonded to the plastic of the, uh, of the connector. So yeah, any like side to like any, any tension applied to the connectors would actually just transfer i mean any tension applied to the wires will just transfer directly into the terminals because the terminals are sitting loose in the plastic housing um so i guess maybe actually having just like a rigid support that like really ties the cables into the plastic of the connector would work maybe yeah that might actually work like just bonding the cables to the actual connector plastic would maybe solve the issue somewhat. You'd ideally want to do that after it's plugged in correctly, right? Like, you, because the whole reason why the cables are loose in the first place is so that the terminals can slot onto the pins, uh, like, optimally, right? Um... And so let's actually take a bit of a closer look at especially why it is that horizontal bending is especially bad. So here we have the uh, Amphenol ICC Minitech Power uh, PWR C, Power SEM 5 PCIe connector system. Uh, this new introduction 5.0 PCIe Express 12 volt high power auxiliary hybrid connector and cable assembly support the 600 watt GPU cards. Um, uh, anyway, so this is the this is the new power connector that NVIDIA came up with, um, and it uses these 101-32447 uh, receptacle terminals, which I've pulled up here, as you can see, 101-32447, and you'll notice that this is basically a folded piece of metal, right? This is a folded piece of metal that sort of slots into the plastic connectors, and then the cable is crimped into it. Um, I think it's called crimping. Um, but anyway, uh, what you'll notice about this folded piece of metal is that there's a seam right down here. And this, you know, this, like, barrel part is the part that actually, like, slots onto, like, that the pin actually, like, slots into. Um, and this seam is probably oriented, uh, you know, like, straight up at us. Like, if, um, like this. Uh, wait, so, you know, like that seam is probably going down the pin like that. So if you start, you know, applying horizontal force to the cable, that cable is going to start trying to lean this, uh, you know, like, uh, receptacle. And basically the pin, which is a solid piece of metal, and then therefore probably far more, like, robust is going to leverage the thing apart, is my guess. Um, and once it levers it apart, um, or actually, like, you basically have, yeah, well, one one way or another, basically, this fold will probably just sort of start, like, the folded part will start opening up if you apply horizontal stress to the receptacle um, because of the pin. And once that happens, well, you're going to have less contact between the pin and the receptacle, which means the resistance is going to increase, which means the amount of heat generated by current flowing through the connection is going to be higher. And if the connection is bad enough, then the amount of heat that is going to be generated by current flowing through the connection is going to be enough to burn the connector like this. So that's why you should, like, especially horizontal 
orient like horizontal bending is super bad probably that's that's my theory on that um i also wonder if because this connector is like a lot smaller than the old eight pins um i do wonder if like the receptacle itself is actually like thinner material compared to an eight pin it might not be it might be just as thick in which case um then again, I guess maybe just having a more substantial pin gives you more contact area. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really, like, you know, I'm not uh, an engineer of this. But, like, looking at this, it's pretty obvious why horizontal stress is not ideal when you have a fold right down the middle of the socket like that. That's it's pl pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm kind of wondering, because, like, the thing is, you know, people have abused 8-pin power connectors, right? Like, you have people with ITX builds where they just mash those connectors down no matter what. Um, and you don't really see very many of these. Now, admittedly, this is the first time I've ever seen an RTX 40... Like, somebody report that their RTX 4090 adapter burned up. Um, but it's also possible that other people have had had this happen and they just didn't post on Reddit about it. So, that's not really, like... I don't know how much statistical significance there is to this. Um... But, like, I never, you know, I I never had any concerns about doing this to an 8-pin power connector. Like, it never even crossed my mind. Even though I, I, I know for sure that 8-pin power connectors also use this style of, like, folded receptacle. But the other thing with 8-pin power connectors that's worth considering is they're rated for, like, half as much current per connection. Right? Because this 12-pin, well, this... It's technically 16 pins because you have a bunch of useless sense pins on top of it. Like, th those I really hate because it's like, okay, so you added more connect... Like, there's more connections in this cable that don't actually help with providing power. It's a power connector. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing it should do is just, you know, it its job should be to be as good at devi providing power as possible. And, and maybe you should just not design your GPU to trip over current protections on power supplies, but... Anyway, um, instead of the power supply having to tell the GPU, hey, uh, please don't overload me, which is what the whole point of the sense pins is. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, the, the thing is, is just, where was I going with this? Yeah, because this is 12 connect, like this is 12 power connections, um, and they're rated at 600 watts, whereas a eight pin power connector has six power connections, which is half as many connections, but it's only rated at 150 watts. It's rated at one-fourth of what this is rated at. So even if you have really, like, so even if you have, like, garbage contact in an 8-pin power connector, it's not as much of a problem as garbage contact in this thing, because this thing has to handle four times as much, like, twice as much power per connection. Um, so... Yeah, and it may also be physically less robust than an 8-pin. I'm not sure about that part, because I don't know if the, the metal, like, like I don't know, how, like, if this receptacle being smaller, if it's actually physically weaker than the old receptacle that we have, like, the larger receptacle in the 8-pin power connector. I have no idea about that. Um, it's possible, but even if they are the same physical strength, like, this thing has to handle twice as much power. So if this is making sub if this is making a suboptimal connection, it's much more of a problem than it is than when an eight pin has a suboptimal connection, right? So yeah. Anyway, if you have a forty ninety or a thirty or really any card that uses this connector, and especially any card that uses this connector and it has a high power limit, uh, make sure that it's not bent horizontally, because this connector apparently really can't handle that. Um, yeah. What a stupid connector. Like, it, it really just a very stupid connector. Oh, well, I mean, you can always count on NVIDIA to come up with a compl complicated solution to something that isn't really a problem that's actually worse for reliability. <laughs> my other, my other, like, you might be like, what other, like, overly complicated solutions has NVIDIA come up with. Well, fun fact, the VRM on a 980 Ti has eight power stages in it, but it's only but it's only six phases. The reason it has eight power stages in it is because NVIDIA wanted a workaround for optimizing the 
current balance between the 8-pin and the 6-pin power connector. For comparison, I've never seen an AMD GPU give a like any consideration to current balancing the power connectors other than just splitting the VRM in like a sensible configuration. NVIDIA GPUs, on the other hand, have a bunch of extra circuitry so that they can dynamically change where, like, which power connector is powering what part of the VRM, which is a complicated solution to a non-issue, based on the fact that AMD doesn't bother with this and, you know, like, it doesn't cause any problems, and also that VRM has a tendency to blow up. Like, 980 Ti's having the vCore VRM burn up is a very regular occurrence. So, um, you know, you have a way more complicated power delivery system that's not actually any better at delivering power, but it is more complicated, and it solves a problem that isn't really a problem. Similar to this 8-pin power connector. It solves the issue of the, I mean, the similar to the 12-volt high power connector. It solves the issue of the 8-pin being too physically big at the cost of reliability, what a great development in power delivery. Truly, a incredible, like, peak NVIDIA design right here. It's just like, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, don't, don't bend your, you know, don't bend your 12-volt high power connector horizontally. Uh, ideally, don't bend it at all. Just, like, plug it, like, straight into the GPU somehow. Uh, if you have a case, I guess don't have a side panel anymore. Um, don't do ITX builds either, they're bad for your GPU health. Um, and that's it for the video, so thanks for watching, like, share, subscribe, leave any comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section below. If you'd like to support what I do here with actually hardcore overclocking, I have a Patreon, there's a link to that down in the description below. Uh, I also have a Teespring store where you can pick up shirts, hoodies, posters, you know, the usual YouTuber merch. And I've also got a Bandcamp, if for some reason you want to listen to industrial noise. Um, there's a link to that down in the description, uh, description below as well. And that's it for the video, so thanks for watching and goodbye.